Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how can you make your activity in Android Studio as autoresponder. As you know, one of the biggest problem which face the Android developer is how can make their screens as autoresponsive for multiple devices. Here, in this example, I am using Nexus 6, which has a taller screen. So, let's suppose that I have drawn here four patterns, one here, two, three, and the last one is here, four. Okay, so, <clears throat> sorry, as you can see here, we have four patterns on Nexus 6. If I change Nexus 6 to Nexus 4, for example, as you can see here, I have only three patterns because the fourth pattern has been disappeared because this screen is smaller than Nexus 6. So how can we solve this problem using something called guides in the constraint layout? So I'm going to compare this one at first to Nexus 6. Let's remove all those patterns. And here I'm going to right click, use something called helpers, and add something called add horizontal guidelines. This horizontal guidelines will divide this screen to horizontal parts or to some parts horizontally according to some percentage. For example, let's see here, this is the first guideline. As you can see this guideline here, okay? I'm going here in the XML and add something called the percentage, which is the constraint guide percentage as 0.0. .0. Okay, so in this case, this guideline will be at the top of this screen. Okay, again, I'm going to add another helper, horizontal guideline, this guideline two, as you can see here. And in the XML, the same thing will be percentage 0 0.25. When I go to design, as you can see here, the second line is here. So now I have got approximately 25% of this screen. Let's repeat this again. Right click, helper, add another horizontal line. And this one, percentage 0 0.5, which is 50%. Now, as you can see here, we have two parts. Let's continue. Helper, horizontal guideline, percentage 0 0.75 and the last one now helper add horizontal line and in this case this will be 1.0 which is 100% 1.0 as you can see now i have defined this screen into four parts this is the 25% 55% 75 and the 100 and I have used five lines. Now, after that, I'm going to draw a button, okay, in each section. And of course, as you can see here at this point, in the constraint layout, just connect each button to one of those guidelines here. And of course, I need to add another one here, okay, and repeat this for the other patterns. So the second button will be connected to this one vertically and to this edge horizontally. Again, the same thing here. Okay, and the last button. Here is the last button. So in this case, I have drawn four patterns and each pattern 
has approximately 25% of the screen. Now let's change Nexus 6 to Nexus 4. As you can see here, I haven't lost any one of those buttons because I have used the percentage of the constraint guides. So in this video, we have talked about how can we make our screen as autoresponsive using the constraint guidelines. See you in the next video.